Hello and welcome. This is Kendra and I'm so glad you're here. Today we have a collaboration hop featuring products from Pink and Main, one of Kendra's Card Challenge 12 super sponsors. Some members of the video team and a few guest designers will be sharing projects made with some of the amazing products from Pink and Main using the Kendra's Card Challenge number 12 sketches. And this is a giveaway hop, so stay tuned for details on how to enter and have a chance to win a digital download prize from me. Let's go ahead and jump right in and I'll tell you more about my challenge here in a bit in case you're not familiar. But Pink and Main offers several different monthly subscription options each month. And if you've been a subscriber to my channel, you know I received the Crafty Courtyard Kit and I love using these card making kits with my challenges. But I also received the foil subscription, so I thought I'd make a few cards using these foil products for my video today. These are some of the items that I've received over the past few months that were part of that foil subscription and I haven't had a chance to use them so I'm super excited. But the foil of the month set includes a roll of cheer foil which has 25 feet of foil as well as a foilable kit and a set of A2 foilable card panels. This is part of the September foil of the month kit that includes the shattered red cheer foil plus a foilables kit. These have two five and a half by eight and a half inch sheets of each of the patterns that you see here. The first one has some Christmas icons, then there's one with lights, and then another with holly leaves. And then there's two different sheets with sentiments. I'll be using this for one of the cards that I'm sharing today. And the package of A2 panels with the September kit was some Christmas sentiments. It's not shown here, but you'll see me adding foil to those panels here in a bit. I had it set aside and I forgot to show it here in the video. Now, even though I won't be using the October foil kit, I figured I'd show it since I have it out. But it includes that roll of the starry rainbow cheer foil, plus these cute A2 panels that's called O Craft. And it has a bunch of cute craft images with faces. And the kit also came with a foilable kit of half sheets. Now, this foilable kit has splatters some decorative stripes and sequins with stars, plus a bunch of crafty themed sentiments. Now all of these items are available to purchase separately, and I'll have them linked in the description box below in case you're interested. Now they are affiliate links, which means if you make a purchase, I earn a small commission at no extra cost to you, but it's down there in case you would like to check that out. This next set is the November kit, and it includes this silver foil called icicles. And it came with these snowflakes in circles uh, on these A2 panels, plus a foilable kit. And the foilable kit's called Let It Snow. And the foilable kit includes panels of snowflakes, mittens, and snow dots, plus a bunch of winter themed sentiments. And I'm going to be using the Christmas and winter themed kits today, along with my mink machine and a couple of other colors of rolls of cheer foil that I purchased separately. I love this beautiful solid cobalt blue color, so I'll be using this one. And I'll also be using this lots of love teal color with the hearts, as well as the glitzy silver color. Now, if you don't have a mink machine, you can use a laminator, but you'll want to let it heat up for about 20 to 30 minutes before you use it. But these foils are for toner and not to be used with a hot foil system. It is a different type of foil. Now I have my mink machine set to number three, the number three setting, and it will show a red light until it's ready. But once it's heated up enough, the light will turn green. When I break out my mink machine, I like to foil a bunch of stuff at once. So I'll show you how I keep the process going. And I have sped this video up quite a bit so that my video isn't too long since this is part of a hop. But I wanted to disclose that running it through the machine takes a lot longer than what you see here on the video. To let you know what I'm doing, and in case you've never seen toner foiling before, I'm cutting the foil to completely cover the foilable panels, and I'm placing it with the pretty side up inside the transfer folder. And I'm running this through the machine with the folded edge of the folder first. After running it through, you'll want to remove it from the folder, but allow it to completely cool before you remove the foil from the panel. So I'm setting it aside while I add the next panel through the machine. But since I'm pulling the foilable panels straight from the package and my cheer foil is brand new, I'm not brushing them off first. If I had opened these before, I would definitely use a brush to remove any dust or flakes that may have settled onto the panel 
or the back of the foil. If you don't do this, you may see dots where the foil doesn't adhere to the panel. And since I'm making a bunch of panels, I've edited this video to mainly show the reveal where I peel off the foil from each of the panels, which is my favorite part. Just look how gorgeous these are. And I'm saving the negatives so that I can use those also. Now, after foiling all of the Christmas panels, I switched to the winter foilables. And off camera, I ran some of them through with the silver foil. And then I decided to use the cobalt foil so that I can show how to use the negative. So here um, you see that I've run the ombre toner sheets through and used the silver negatives. And you can kind of see this, but the, uh, the ones with the dots didn't really show up very well. I guess I should say that the toner sheets don't really show through some of the busier patterns of foil. It's best to use solid foil like I did here. See how nice these mittens turned out where I used the cobalt blue negative foil on the light blue toner sheet? And that came from the garden color pack of toner sheets. And I don't know if you could see the tiny flecks on it or not, but I highly recommend brushing both the toner sheet and the back of the foil before running it through. Now these are the Christmas sentiment panels that I mentioned earlier that I didn't show. Four of the panels are white with black words and the other four are white words on a black background. But I'm going to let those cool a little bit before I show how they turn out. But I'm using the negative pieces of the winter sentiments with the cobalt blue foil on top of this mint green toner sheet from that same garden toner sheet pack. And since I've opened that toner pack before, I brushed this off first and I also brushed off the back of the foil before running it through the machine. And here's how the Christmas sentiment panels turned out. I'm absolutely gorgeous. I love how the negative turned out on the mint green toner panel also. Now I'll be using one of these sentiments for my second card today. Now here is the reveal of the negative snowflakes on a pink toner panel. Just beautiful. Now for the panels with the circles, I did four in silver and the other four with the cobalt blue, saving all of my negatives. I plan to buy some more toner sheets and use these in the future. But off camera, I went ahead and cut these up into smaller panels, but I just love how beautiful they all turned out. I also cut up the sentiments off camera, but now I'm ready to start putting my cards together. For the two cards I'm sharing with you today, I'm using sketches 14 and 15, and these are part of the free PDF printable that I offer for download on my channel at kendrascardchallenges.com. And if you're not familiar with my quarterly card making challenges, it's where you can create a bunch of cards with six sheets of six inch by six inch coordinating pattern paper or foiled panels using the cutting guides and card sketches that are provided in the download. And if you join the challenge and post your cards on social media, you can have a chance to win over a thousand dollars in prizes from 20 different companies, including Pink and Main. Now they have generously donated three prize packs for monthly prizes, as well as a quarterly gift certificate. So for more information about the challenge, I will link the challenge 12 introduction video above and in the description box below, which explains more about it and how to enter. But you'll definitely want to watch this video if you're new to my challenges. Now for my cards, I'm starting with sketch 14 and I'm using the red Christmas foiled panels for this card. And I'm cutting these down according to the measurements on the sketch and I'm using a silver foil card base. I also have a half sheet of red foil cardstock from my stash that I'm using to cut my layers. The layers on this card sketch are only an eighth of an inch bigger than the pieces, so it will barely show, but it will definitely make the pieces show up better having this matting around them. I originally didn't plan to put the large red layer behind the background panel, but I thought it needed it after looking at everything. So I cut this to measure four and one eighths by five and three eighths of an inch. And since only the outside edges will show, I'm cutting a red foil circle out of the center with a two and a half inch circle punch. Since my sentiment was cut out with a two inch circle punch, I decided to add a two and a quarter inch circle in between that. So I cut that from some holographic scrap cardstock that I saved from a previous project. This just kind of helps to tie in the silver from the card base. But one thing that I discovered while gluing the pieces down is that you can see the glue lines through the foil pieces. So you may want to consider using tape runner or double sided adhesive rather than liquid glue if you have a large piece of solid foil that will be showing. In order to keep the pieces level, I added a scrap piece of cardstock behind the rectangle piece on the right side. 
And then for the circle sentiment, after I glued that together, I'm popping this up with some foam tape so that it will have some dimension. And that will finish off card, the first card using sketch number 14. While I finish off this card, I'll tell you how to enter the giveaway for this hop. For a chance to win a digital download from me, you'll want to complete the form that's linked in the description box below only once after hopping along today. Also, be sure to check out the other videos in the hop for more card making inspiration using Challenge 12 and products from Pink and Main. Now for my second card, I'm using Sketch 15 and the blue foil panel with the snowflakes in the circles. And then for the sentiment, I'm using one that was made with the negative of the foil on that light green toner sheet. I'm also using that strip of snowflakes that was part of the sentiment sheet from the foilables kit. And for the card base, I used a mint green cardstock to match the color on the words. Putting this together is pretty straightforward. Rather than using a layer behind the strip of snowflakes, I'm just going to use some Love from Lizzie peel-off stickers in that same green color. The stickers are actually circles, but I'm going to use the outline of the circle since they're in a strip. And I use the bigger ones at the top and the bottom of that rectangle sentiment. And then I used a smaller strip of circles along the snowflake strip along the top and the bottom. And then to finish off the card, I added six of the circles in the same place that's shown on the sketch. With this beautiful foil, these cards don't really need much else. And so this finishes up card number two using sketch 15. I'd love to know what you think in the comment section below. Leave me a comment. Remember to enter the giveaway for this hop for a chance to win a digital download from me. You'll want to complete the form that's linked in the description box below by December 16th of 2023. And the winner will be randomly chosen and announced on the community tab of my YouTube channel here. So make sure you're a subscriber and have those notifications turned on so you don't miss any of my posts. There's still several weeks left to join the challenge this quarter. You'll have until December 31st to get the photos of your cards uploaded to enter for a chance to win lots of prizes. Again, for more information, visit KendrasCardChallenges.com to get all of the details. I'd like to thank Michelle with Pink and Main for being a prize super sponsor. Pink and Main has been a longtime prize sponsor since challenge number three, and I can't believe we'll be starting challenge number 13 in January. I really appreciate her generosity as well as all of the company prize sponsors. I'd also like to thank my patrons shown here. Patrons receive extra benefits and perks as part of my membership program. So for more information, visit patreon.com forward slash Kendra's card challenges. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy the hop and I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful day.